dudes who got attention in the fandom. You know, we got Fanny, Tui, Lightning, Teardrop, the list goes on. But, there's a difference between positive attention and negative attention. Or, just attention and negative attention. Characters I just mentioned get attention. That's what Grassy doesn't get. Grassy doesn't get attention. He gets a lot of negative attention from the fandom. That is my point. Grassy is not overrated. It's pretty easy to assume he's overrated due to his monstrous amount of votes every single time his team is up for elimination. But I'm here to say that the amount of votes he gets doesn't affect his popularity at all. The amount of votes Grassy gets doesn't determine the amount of attention he gets in the fandom, what kind of attention he gets. Because here's what happens in viewer voting. We have the voters who watch people on a regular basis, participate in the fandom, love the show, you know, appreciate the characters, make content for the show, and just watch it and enjoy it all as one active community who know what they're doing. And then we get the little kids who see Jack and Jellyfield once in the recommended, watch one episode, vote once, and never touch the material again. These are the people who vote grassy. Or should I say, the kids who vote grassy. These are the kids who are always brought up when people say that grassy has popularity or gets attention. But he doesn't. You wanna know why? Because these kinds of voters, you know, the kids who just see Jack and Jellyfy once, vote once, never touch material again, aren't part of the community. They're not. And you know what? These people, these people who don't love the characters and, you know, get to know their depths and find themselves attached to the characters, watch and make fan content for the characters, talk about the characters with their friends or people online, and enjoy and celebrate this show and its characters, they shouldn't have a say on which characters get to stay in the game. These people, who don't actually know the characters at all, but manipulate the vote to make it look like characters like Grassy are insanely loved and appreciated, and characters like Clock are disliked and shunned, that's not true. When you look at the community, you know, the people whose vote should actually matter, it's the exact opposite. Clock is loved and appreciated and praised by the fandom. Well, Grassy gets the exact opposite. Clock gets attention, while Grassy doesn't. Yet, the votes show the exact opposite. In fact, this is where Rocky comes in. Rocky and Grassy, they both have the same problem. Not with their characters, but with their existence. Well, here's the thing, I'm going to say something revolutionary, okay? There was nothing wrong with their characters at all. Well, specifically Grassy. He didn't actually do anything wrong. Look, people only don't like him because he stays over characters who actually have characters. Who actually do a lot in the story. <coughs> Clock. <coughs> or could have done a lot in the story, mm-mm, Eggy. Mm. But with their characters, Grassy specifically, there's nothing wrong with him. There's nothing truly remarkable, but there's never something truly hateable about Grassy himself either. But he doesn't do anything in the series. And now, Grassy doing stuff for this amount of time. one of us should go ruin the other team's stacks. What, like a racer? We're back! I'm back. Back up! <laughs> Don't worry, guys. The strongest team on Earth loses. See? Now, wait, what? Grassy did a pretty great job today. Oh, that's actually true. Yay! Where on Earth could XB? Grassy! The roof, you think? Found you! Blub blub! No!
Now, I didn't include that many clips, but what I'm trying to get at is that she ain't that bad. Be real, she, she's not that bad. But looking at my past points, we can make a summary of what I've said so far. What I've said so far is that a character's attention should not be the same as a character's negative attention. And the amount of votes a character gets doesn't determine their popularity because a lot of the votes aren't genuine or sincere from people who aren't actually in the fandom. So, this could make people think that I'm racist against newbies. And the solution isn't actually that hard to say. It's definitely easier said than done, but I really think Jack and Jellyfy can do it if they put their mind into it. Make all of the characters do something in the in the series. Make all of them interesting. Do an airboy. Give kids reasons to vote other characters. And Apple did all the work for you. It's it's right there. So yeah, it's sort of a writing problem once again. I love the Teapot 7, the writing has significantly improved, but it can still improve more. So, Ronald had to fix the phenomenon of regressing and then have a bajillion votes in the second place getting like 5. Make the characters do more. Make all of them interesting and give us reasons to vote other characters. Don't have one character hog all of the votes. Make voting a little bit harder. For everyone. For me, me personally, voting is already pretty hard since I already love all of the characters. But this may not be the same for someone who just loves one specific character all the time because they're a fan favorite, or a newbie who has just started watching the series and doesn't know anything about the characters. So what can we add to this recap that I didn't already add? Jack and Jellyfy needs to make voting harder. VN.